We was uh, actually uh, had a pretty on when the fog comes through or the open. Uh, we uh, had a transistor right now. We got the terrible news on that. It was terrible. The glory up was practically burned out. And, uh, it was, um, it come back through snugging. It was just house after house that uh, burned out and uh, got back to the start of uh, Orielton and uh, every uh, power pole and every telephone pole was, was laying down and we struggled to find our way up through the road. Uh, and uh, we, uh, oh, we missed it with uh, the police pulled us up on the way and, and, and told me my grandma had uh, been burnt in the park. Ate her in uh, Barwick. Um, we got back to our farm and found out that uh, pretty well all the buildings had been burnt down except we were lucky there were two houses on the place. One my mother and father lived in and one my wife and I and their children lived in. Uh, they both caught fire but mother and father uh, had put them both out. They'd only caught a light a little bit, just the grass or <coughs> The grass around before the bushfire was nearly to the top of the fences and nearly consisted right across the country and it was really dry. We did happen to burn a little bit of uh, a fire break round our houses uh, about a week before uh, when the weather was, wasn't quite as bad. We ploughed the brakes with the plough and burnt over them just as if uh, there hadn't been any fire there and just double burnt, dead livestock laying everywhere. Just as many or more had to be put down and the ones that survived were just had an open free run across the property, no fences. It surprised us how they stayed, how the, how the place was their home and they, they didn't run away, didn't go away, very few of them left. We got some help from the army with the fences, a small bit of help, and with another group that come down from up at Penguin. Farmers helped us with some of the fences, but uh, it, it took us uh, about six years before everything was back in order again. 